Uh-oh. Are we on, though? All right. Can you all hear us? Everyone, can you hear us? <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and awkwardly dance. <laughs> 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 I love this so much. Just keep dancing. Just keep going around. You tell us when. We're just looking around. Wait, they're not even starting. <laughs> Why would it not? <laughs> yeah, I, we have sound. It's just not rotated. Can y'all hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? We're not getting any feedback. Should we call Lauren? Okay, we can hear you. Let's Yay! go! All right! Peter again. Uh, happy start. All Pines! Happy All happy Pines! Where are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Uh, we're the four co founders of Bent Paddle Brewing Company. My name is Laura Mullen. Colin. Brian. Here, Antonis. And we miss you guys so much up here. We're here at Bayfront. It's completely empty except for some boxes that keep running around. Um, and we just can't wait for next year for uh, everything hopefully to be normal and we're all back here celebrating at Bayfront Park in Duluth. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our adventure pack and doing a mini beer sensory. Yeah, what the heck. So I'll start it off uh, with our venture pills. Um, one of the reasons we chose Duluth was the beautiful pristine lake behind us, Lake Superior. 10% uh, of the world's fresh water is found in that lake and all of our beer is made with that water. Um, one of the best beers we can showcase that water with is the Venture Pills. Um, we use North American and European hops and malt and it's got a nice floral hop aroma. It's refreshingly crisp. These are our children. Uh, they were born three days apart. <laughs> so that's an interesting tidbit. It is very good. Um, so, so cheers. Try the Venture Pills. It's, a, it's been out since we opened, um, and it's available year-round. So the second beer we're going to be talking about is the uh, Ben Top Golden IPA. Uh, this was one of the first beers we originally uh, released when we first opened. This is uh, often the beer I say that we make for me. Uh, it's my style of IPA. Uh, when we first opened uh, about seven and a half years ago, this was considered a new school IPA. Now it's an old school IPA. So <laughs> that's just kind of the way things roll sometimes. Um, what I do love about it, it's got a nice big malt backbone. It's nice and soft. It's not overly bitter. Um, and it also uh, comes in with a nice big floral, uh, grassy, and slightly citrusy uh, hop aroma. And so it's my style of IPA. It's in the adventure pack. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Woo! Yay! <laughs> All right. Canoe. Canoe. Okay. Uh, I am drinking today the canoe. It's a session pale ale. It doesn't say canoe. It says canoe. Uh, the tin tank, the weekend warrior, the original, uh, when you start off canoeing, you have a nice aluminum canoe. And this is a beer that is made for that type of paddling. So it's a sessionable pale ale. It's 4.8 alcohol by volume and 48 IBUs. And just an, it's for that light amount of uh, ABV, you can drink it all day. So nice, delicious, sessionable pale. And the final beer in our adventure pack is Classic, which is a beer that we released in March. March, yeah. right when yeah. COVID. Great, great time to release a new beer. <laughs> Um, but this is a beer that we're super proud of and super excited about. It's our cream ale, which kind of straddles the breadth of uh, styles that we love to present. So uh, this beer is super easy going, very refreshing, and uh, it fits just about every moment, including, uh, well, this one, this one <laughs> which was supposed to be a really awesome beer festival uh, where we'd be all celebrating and cheersing uh, classic with you. But uh just like its name, it is just a classic beer that is enjoyable to drink. And uh, we hope you seek it out. Uh, six packs, 12 packs, and adventure packs in the marketplace. Yeah. So these adventure packs are available right now. And then we will be doing it again in the fall. So we know that COVID has uh, brought everyone into their homes, and but liquor stores are essential. And we have these 12 packs available now. And then there'll be a fall one coming soon in the fall. Um, for fall. You, for fall. For fall. Yeah. <laughs> you can find you can find all of these out. Mm -hmm. right. All of the other beers are available uh, year round in twelve and some in twelve and some all in success. So we have a giveaway too. 
so what we have here is a wood tacker for your wall, um, a hat and a hundred dollar gift card to come up to Bent Paddle when it's nice and safe and or you live here and then just come on over. So we're going to do a trivia question. So please answer the trivia question on the Minnesota Craft Brewers Guild uh, feed, the live feed. Trivia first, question. First one to answer correct. First one to answer the question correctly wins and we'll get your address to mail this all down to you. All right, so the question is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. Dun, what, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> what is the significance of our, our, our logo being tilted at a 14 degree angle? So one more time. What is the significance of our logo being tilted at a 14 degree angle? First one to answer gets that gift card. All right, our uh, amazing social media photo guide, Max, is uh, preview, taking a look at all the answers and we'll see what happens here. Anything else we want to talk about? I assume there's a virtual drum roll. Uh, going we on. are open. <laughs> uh, the tap room's open. We have a nice patio space. We've ex we're working on an expansion to the street. We have all the safety and distancing protocols in place. So come on up. Or and when come does on our street over. expansion open? Tuesday. 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 Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Max still does that. We just want to say thank you so much. All right, okay. Brian. Brian David Grondin. Brian, Brian. Yeah. Brian. What, was, what was his answer? Uh, 14 degrees is the angle of the paddle. Yes, yeah. of a bent shaft canoe paddle. Well, thanks. Congrats, Brian. And uh, hey, thank you so much to the Minnesota Craft Brewers Guild. We for, miss you guys. We miss you guys for putting this on and making the beer connections uh, still happen during this crazy time. And we miss you in Duluth, and we can't wait to see you again soon. Cheers. 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 I don't drink beer. Aww. Oh my gosh, we miss you too. <laughs> so sad. Um, thank you, Ben Paddle, and thank you to every single one of our breweries who participated today. Hands down, could not have done this without any of you to Ben Paddle and drinking a classic as well. Um, because it is classic and it, it's a nice end of the APO time here. But um, thank you everybody who's hanging out and viewing this with us. Uh, remember to visit all of these breweries in person if you can. If you can't, please buy their beer in a local liquor store. It supports tons and tons of jobs and all of these breweries so that they can stay alive through COVID. Um, hopefully soon we'll be able to go back. But for now, if you're visiting tap rooms or you're visiting bars and restaurants, make sure to wear your mask. Um, and know that those folks are trying really hard to keep you safe when you go there. So please do your best to follow all of the rules. Um, thank you again to all of our sponsors who I mentioned earlier. One more quick thing. We are bringing one more event online this year and it is our state fair. So we have a ton of breweries who are gonna sign up to um, do educational events and uh, share information about all of their specialty beers that they normally release during the state fair. And we're super excited to have them on board for this. Um, it's going to be a totally unique subscription situation. So stay tuned for that. We're trying our best to uh, bring you those cute little uh, sampler packs that we do at the state fair and you can learn all about the people that make them. So one more time, thank you to everybody. Thank you to everybody who viewed this the Facebook feed today. We appreciate everything you're doing. Support local as best you can. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will hopefully see everybody at Bayfront Park in 2021. Have a great rest of your day, Minnesota. Cheers. <laughs>